Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So before we start, do check out the Tenorshare 4 Dedic data recovery software that can help you to recover lost or deleted file over 2000 plus file data type from various storage like internal hard disk, external devices, USB storage and many more. So do check out the description link for the complete information. So from the list, you can select any partition or computer location where you want to recover lost or deleted data. Like I have selected my USB and it shows all the lost or deleted files so you can just select whatever you want to recover and you can easily export it on your system this tool can support 2000 plus extensions so you can easily recover all your data so surely check out this useful tool that is tenorshare 4 d dig from the description link so now let's continue today's video process so in today's video i will show you how you can fix the unable to activate screen or i can say the broken baseband error on your iPhones or iPad that support the jailbreak and the checkmate exploit like iPhone 6s to iPhone X you can easily follow this process and do the fix of unable to activate screen in the free way I will show you the complete step-by-step -step tutorial like how you can do that on your Windows machine so no need of Mac so it's very simple and easy process and keep that in mind this is the software based method that can help you to skip this unable to activate screen there is a permanent method also so, but that is the hardware fix in that you can fix and repair the basement chip of your device and that will be the permanent way but if you don't want to go for the permanent you can try the simple way in that the software method work for you so step number one you have to jailbreak your device with a Pelrain jailbreak so for that there are lots of method available you can use the wind range jailbreak Pelrain GUI method or you can use the command line interface method or you can use my custom ISO file so there are lots of options available so for for this method I'm using my custom ISO file so most of the user are already aware of this method like how we can make the USB bootable with the roofers and then you can boot from the bio setting so the process is simple you just need to follow that or you can check my dedicated video on the Pelerin jailbreak windows method so you can watch that if you want the detailed guide so I will just fast forward the process Alright now we have booted the Pelerin jailbreak ISO file. Now next you need to connect your device and start the jailbreak and for the compatible list I will just put it on the screen so you can just pause the video and check it out. So let me just connect my device. Now once you connect your device it will directly go into the recovery mode after that the next step is the DFU mode so first you need to press enter on the keyboard after that you need to press the button key combination to enter in the DFU mode you can also take help from the tool screen it will guide you how you can enter in the DFU mode if it fails and your device will on just retry it until you will succeed you will see the jailbreak and verbose boot on the tool as well as on your device so let me just try it one more time so now the jailbreak is started and you will see the checkprint pongo os loading on your iphones or ipad and also you will see on some particular devices like iphone 6s and on ios 15 you will get this lib usb warning so just ignore that that will not affect any jailbreak process it's completed and you will see the device booted to the home screen or your device will be on to the hello screen so the jailbreak is done or you can just confirm it after the three tools you will see the information the jailbreak section will say yes that means the jailbreak is done or if it's failed just retry it and it will surely work once everything is done you can just quit the terminal by pressing the ctrl and c after that you can type reboot and hit on enter and your laptop will be reboot all right now we are on our windows machine now you need to download a tool that can help you to skip this 
unable to activate screen that is the Borac Ramdes 2.5 Pro version this is the latest new version so first extract it and make sure you turn off the all antivirus and firewalls because sometimes these may create issues in the bypass tool working so you can just off it and after that you can run the tool and all the download links are on my blog so you can just check out the description link you will get the direct link there and you can easily download all the tools now next open the tool now you will see a backup folder in the tool directory that is currently empty as you need to create the activation file that will show up there so let me just connect my iphone Also let me just open the 3 tools and show you the jailbreak is done. You can also confirm it from there. So now you can see the jailbreak status is yes. That means you are good to go. First you need to register your ECID. My device is already registered. That's why on the tool it's showing registered in the green sign. But in your case it will ask you to register first and it will show in the red sign. So just copy your ECID. After that click on the unregistered button and it will open the web page. In that you can freely register. You just need to enter the ECID, directly copy it from the tool and after that your device will be registered in a minute and then you can easily use the tool. So let me first register the device. So now you can see the device is registered. After that reconnect your device so that it will take the fresh registration. So now it will show the registered done. Next go to the option. First you need to generate the activation record. So click on the generate activation files. Now proceed further. Now click on next. Now here two servers are available. If the first one is busy, you can try the alternate one. So now generate the activation record. After that, you will see on the backup folder, you will see the activation record files generated according to your ECID. So we are good here. Next, you need to reopen the tool. Now this time go to the option and click on the bypass that support the jailbreak. So now just click on proceed and this time it will ask you to bypass. Click on again bypass and it will start bypassing your device. So just wait for it to get complete and after a minute you will see the bypass is done. So now you can see it's done it's so much easy so now you can close the tool and now your device will reboot so just wait for it to get on so now it's on now simply set up the device so let me just uh, select the country connect with the Wi-Fi and now you can see that we are on the D10 privacy page. The unable to activate screen is completely skipped. Now you can continue further and the set up the device and most importantly do not add the touch ID, face ID or password or passcode on your device otherwise it will get locked after the reboot. So skip all these settings and after that just go to the home screen. So let me just set up it fast. So now it's here, welcome to the iPhone and everything looks good and it's a untitled bypass so you can easily reboot the device without lock again and you will get the cellular data warning because it's a broken baseband so IMA is broken and the cellular will launch to work obviously. So let me just reboot and show you the bypass is untitled. Now it's on again so untethered is completely working. You can also try some eye services that will work for you. And as I mentioned do not add the passcode touch id or face id otherwise this bypass will be tethered after the reboot it will lock again. And in this bypass the facetime will not work obviously as the baseband is damaged so it is not activated in the IMA way. So it is a fake activation so the facetime will not work but other things will work like you can use the app store also you can try the Siri both will work. 
so now you can see the siri is working also you can log into your own apple id account so the idle login is working so let me just show you and the sim signal and sim card will not work obviously it's a broken baseband that means the ima and the cellular server is not working in your device it's a hardware damage so to fix that you need to go for the hardware repair but in the software way all these things will work so now you can see the actual login is also working so it's a good alternative if you want to try it so that's all for this video i hope you gain some knowledge through my videos if yes just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates i will see you in another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out